Hello, everybody. So today I, I was just thinking about how cool it would be if I could have things orbiting my map. Like in a space map, for instance, the asteroid kind of revolving around your map. Uh, as you can see in the video here, I'm just going to show you it one more time as it passes through. So after thinking and Googling and I did everything I could think of, I f it finally just hit me. And th this is the result. So I'm going to show you how to do it. I just want to show you guys what it looks like so you know what you're getting into for the next three minutes in the tutorial. And sometimes it's going to be really smooth like that, but it tends to sometimes be choppy just because of the lag in the game. But I'll show you how to get it done. All right, so let's get started. It's actually pretty simple. All you're going to want to do is you just need two items spawned in. So we're going to spawn in the first thing. It doesn't matter what it is. just want to place it wherever you want the center of your orbit to be. So I'm just going to spawn in a cylinder. It doesn't matter what size or anything. It doesn't really affect the orbit itself. So just spawn the item, place it wherever you want it to be, and then spawn. you want to spawn your second item, which is the item you will, the physical item that will be rotating around. So I'll just spawn in like a, a boulder or rock or something here. A boulder. And then I'm just going to place it arbitrarily. There is good. It doesn't really matter. It depends more on your specific needs for your, what you're building and everything. Next thing you want to do is select the two items. Make sure you select the cylinder item first or the middle item first. And then you want to hit up on the D-pad and hit group. You can ignore what I just did on the screen because I went into the wrong menu. So just hit up on the D-pad and hit group like that. And it'll turn blue and green. Next thing you want to do is press X and you go to object, uh, or object properties. And you hit weld and then hit OK just like I did there. So now you're going to see the other items going to turn purple. Now that you've done that, go to scripting and add a script. And you want to make this script, put it on condition um, on timer. So there. And then initial delay, doesn't really matter. I put it as 0.1 seconds. I think you need to have some sort of delay. And then you put on action rotate offset. Put the yaw to 180 degrees. Or, well, 180 degrees works the best. So once you get up to 180 degrees, you, next thing you want to do is just change the repeat timer to as low as you can go. So 0.1 is that's is the lowest you can do. It's going to decrease the amount of time between each sort of uh, half 180 degree rotation. So it's almost going to be like you can't see it stopping at all. And then the next thing you want to do, just before that you get this to work, is you want to change the time. It uh, It's more of a personal preference. The longer the time you make it, the slower it's going to orbit. I tend to find it does work a little better at the higher time. So here I did five seconds, but I'm actually going to change it to a little higher. I was just, uh, as I was doing this, I noticed that you can't actually, so you're going to see it doesn't work. At about 11 seconds, it just does not work. Not really sure what the reason for that is. But then if you go back down to like 10, you're going to see it's going to go uh, a lot slower than it was before. And it'll just keep continuing or continuing to orbit forever the only thing I find is does seem to be restricted a little from the game's engine it seems to be sometimes a little choppy that being said I do find that if you play around with a little you can find like a sweet spot like you saw in my the beginning it was running really smooth but that's it thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video